I get a lot of requests for my combo head mallet uh, so I'm just going to show you my process here in this video so the first thing that you saw me doing was planing down two sides of the blank and really all I'm doing there is just eliminating a step later in the process so I don't have to sand or anything but after I get that done I can put it on the lathe and start turning it down just basically getting rid of the corners now you can skip this step and take it to the bandsaw or even the table saw uh, to get rid of the corners so uh, this is really just personal preference I just like to just put it on the lathe and just turn the whole thing uh, but just to kind of give some um, background where this mallet came from if some of you aren't familiar um, when I first started turning I was messing around with I think it was a piece of cherry uh, but I put it on the on the lathe I just kind of had a random blank uh, that I was turning and I got to a certain point uh, where I ended up with a shape and I turned a handle uh, and it became a mallet and so I stopped because I liked the, the way it looked and it ended up being uh, round on two sides and flat on two sides of the head of the mallet which was pretty cool so I I kept that design and kept turning the same design and worked out the, the uh, dimensions of the blank and that kind of thing to make it work so uh, now I turn them and I just basically have claimed the, the look and the, the design and the, and the name combo head mallet um, as my own uh, really because I've, I've searched for this look and can't really find anything but now that I've turned a lot of these if you google combo head mallet uh, stone and sons is going to be the first re search result uh, and the first well actually the first five if you're just searching for uh, web articles and that kind of thing but if you search for images it's like the first 20 come up for my combo head mallet which um, it's kind of cool so uh, once I get all of the corners turned down and just kind of get it roughed out I can start shaping this thing how I want and so I can kind of decide how big I want the head of the mallet or how long I want my handle uh, do I want a rise in the handle do I want a flat handle do I want one that's, uh, that has no arch at all I mean just really personal preference I'm showing you here how I like my mallets to look and feel in my hand but uh, really it's up to the user and so uh, I'm just going to show you a few things here uh, as you can see I'm turning the handle there and down in the lower uh, the smaller picture I just got through turning what I call a finger grip and now I'm starting on that in the uh, larger window there uh, and what this finger grip is uh, it allows you to just hold on to the mallet in a way to where you control it better and I'll get into that here in just a little bit at the end of the video but uh, after you get the I don't know, overall shape or kind of uh, the look that you're going for then you can start kind of refining um, the shape of the head of the mallet and the handle and start putting some designs in it and making it a little bit custom and um, that's what I'm doing here I've got my point tool I'm just adding in some little grooves on the handle and up around the head of the mallet I like to make the whole mallet look like the handle is sticking through the head of the mallet so the part right up, right up under the head of the mallet actually looks like it's coming out through the top of the head of the mallet um, and so it's just a design feature uh, it's just personal preference again so at this point I can just remove the whole mallet and finish cutting off the ends uh, with a saw and I can clean these ends up with a plane or just sand them down to kind of give it a clean and finished look on the ends uh, so here I'm going to show you about the finger grip uh, I can lay my middle finger into that groove in this finger grip and grip the head of the mallet on the flat sides with, with my thumb and pointer finger which gives me access to the round part of the mallet like a carver's mallet and that gives me a lot of control like if I was working with a chisel or something um, really useful but I could also grip the mallet handle just with my whole hand using the finger grip again like a joiner's mallet uh, if I wanted to use the flat side the flat side also helps it from rolling off the work surface which is kind of cool so, but if you're interested in this, I've got a website article uh, that you can check out. And in that article, uh, there's a link there for the template. I also go into detail uh, about the dimensions of the blank to start out with, 
um, and also the dimensions for the finished mallet. So if you would check that out, I would really appreciate it, and thank you for watching.